Hello everybody, today's story for Jam is from Luke chapter 15 verses 8 to 10. It's another parable, it's called the parable of the lost coin. But today I'm going to be reading it from Mick Inkpen's version again, which is called the ten silver coins. Here is a woman. She has ten silver coins. She likes to count them. One, two, three, four. Oops! Silly cat, now they've gone all over the place. The woman picks up her silver coins. They have been scattered everywhere. <laughs> the cat doesn't care. He's stretched out and gone to sleep. The woman counts her silver coins again. But there are only nine. Bother. One of them is missing. Never mind, it can't have gone far. Perhaps it is under the rug. No, there's no sign of it there. Perhaps it's bounced into the fireplace. Carefully, she sifts through the ashes. What a messy job. No, there's no coin. Perhaps it rolled right under the door and out into the garden. She searches and searches. But she can't find the coin anywhere. <sighs> and she even looks inside her pots and pans, even though she really knows it can't be there. Clatter, bang. What a noise she's making. She's making so much noise that she's woken up the cat. <laughs> Serves him right. He's off to find a quiet spot in the garden. <gasps> there it is! The cat was lying on it all the time. The missing silver coin is found. Did you spot it underneath the cat? <laughs> the woman laughs. <laughs> she's found her coin. She is so happy. She calls a friend to tell her the good news. Jesus says that we are like the women's silver coins. God wants every single one of us. The end. Well, that's an interesting story, isn't it? Have you ever been compared to a silver coin before? Not sure if I have. But that Bible story is saying that we are like the woman's silver coins. She cared about every single one of them. And if just one of them was missing, she didn't think, oh well, I've got the nine, never mind, it's only a coin. She hunted for it and looked everywhere for her silver coin. And I don't know if you've ever lost anything like that. Sometimes you do have to look underneath the rugs, underneath the cushions, and you're looking everywhere and you think, where can it have gone? And you know you haven't taken it out of the house, so you know it's in the house somewhere. But you still look outside in the garden, and if it was in your bedroom, you still look downstairs or in the in the kitchen or whatever as well, even though you know it was probably in, in your bedroom somewhere. And that lady, she, she didn't give up, did she? She kept on looking until she eventually found the coin. And that's what it's saying that God is like, like that lady. He keeps looking for us. Now, we might not be lost physically, that means if we don't know him, the Bible uses the word lost to describe people who don't know Jesus. And they're saying if you don't know him, if he's, Jesus is not your friend, he's actively going around looking for you. And maybe by you watching this video, that's one of his ways that he's saying to you, hey, I'm here and I would like to be your friend. Because he cares so much about you, he doesn't want any one of you to not know him. Which is really cool. I'm going to say a prayer for us again now. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you love us actually much more than that woman loved her coins. But I thank you for the, the truth of that story, that if one of us is lost, you will look for us and you want to find us. And Lord, if there is anybody watching this video who doesn't know you, who would like to know you, Lord, I just pray that you will draw near to them now Help them to speak to a grown-up and say that they would like to get to know you 
and to bring Christians alongside them who can help teach them more about you. Amen. If there is anybody who was watching this video who doesn't know Jesus and would like to, you can ask your mum or dad or you can get in touch with us here at Jam and we would love to tell you more about him. In the meantime, have a great week and I'll see you all soon. Bye.